So tonight we have a surprise 25th anniversary private dinner here at one of our local venues like Marche. You guys have seen big weddings here, big commercial jobs. Uh, this guy has the whole place to just him and his lovely wife. And I, um, he called and asked, do you do hybrid video and photography? I said, yes, I do. Would you have in mind? And uh, he told me, he's, I want video of expression and all, and then just get a few nice snapshots of us, you know, here. And I'm like, that I can do. Come see. This is my idea. They're coming down this alley first. So I have a GoPro and one of these little dudes, one more down, to get this angle, and it's turned on. This guy, my Canon, what is this? I forget. Oh yeah, G7X Mark II. This guy is aimed at there. I'll turn it on so it'll get all of this happening, and then I'll be in the other room waiting. There's other two cameras, like having two other people with cameras shooting for me, which I do not have today. I will be right about here, waiting for them. Ta-da! Check it out. The GoPro. Shooting through that, something like that. It's rainy, but sexy. of this video is for the couple's private moments but here are, are a few images that I did collect while I was there and uh, it's just one more reason why I love these new mirrorless uh, hybrid cameras man you know you can do video you can do stills of course you cannot do both at the same time which is why I was like hey uh, it's okay if we do some stills after we get all the expressions on video he said absolutely that's what i really really want i said good because that's what i can do <laughs> Congratulations to the happy couple of 25 years. How awesome is that? Um, this was honestly one of the first times I've done a hybrid job for a client. Um, I usually do this kind of work for myself just for my YouTube channel, but I was pleasantly surprised on 
how easy it was for me to work knowing my video brain and my still photography brain um, was literally a switch away on my Fuji X-T3. I love that. And a, uh, a very huge investment recently was the Godox V1 flash. Let me show you why. All right, <laughs> I have to show you this. Comes in a nice little case. Here's the V1. I love the round head. What's neat about this, oh, there's nothing here. But wait, there's more. So this flash was an investment, but not crazy dollars. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to see I can get the V1 flash, okay? Round head, love it. For $50 more, get the little accessory kit. And this is totally cool. You've got your little your little grid. You have a series of diffusers, colors you can put on there. And you have some barn doors on here, but the part that I love the most is this guy. This guy right here. Watch this. It's magnetized. Look at that. Done. So here's the cool part, okay? So even though I'm using this for my flash, when I needed it, what was very cool was you hit this one little button over here and it's your modeling light, which is this. It has an LED light on here. So you just, how do I do this? Oh yeah, you, pre you press the button in the middle and it's on and it has 10 levels of brightness. That's 10 going all the way down to one. Look at this. So from here, that's seven to 10. I don't notice a huge difference, but let me tell you something. So, so this guy is on my camera, okay? So when I'm using actual flash, click, 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 dome, soft light, room light, it's beautiful, right? But when I did the video, and I'm like, ooh, I could use a little bit more light in here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Aim it at the couple. I have light. I have an LED light on my... It is my flash. My flash is my LED. This is really cool, you guys. This was life-changing in a hybrid moment. That's all I can say. And for the little low price of, what, 270 bucks for all of this... This is a no-brainer, man. And uh, to make it even more of a no-brainer, I'm going to put a direct link below in my description. That way you can click and go get this flash. If you're a Fuji shooter, just remember this. Okay? See how it says F? F is for Fuji. C is for Canon. S is for Sony. I believe they have those models. That's all you have to do is to make sure that the right letter of the flash matches the brand that you're actually shooting um, it's more for the automatic settings because this thing is so worth the dollars that's it all right you guys happy easter weekend i have a video coming to you tomorrow on how we actually do a crawfish boil and uh, a client of mine who's also friends of ours they have their own seasoning company, and this was not on purpose, but the best seasoning that we use for doing crawfish boils happens to be their brand. Um, her brother Brian was doing a crawfish boil last year, and I'm like, let me get some video of this. And then as I'm doing seasoning, I'm like, wait a second. These are our people, man. I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic weekend, and remember, dear Lord, remember, Stay focused on your dreams because what else are you doing? Don't wake up, go to work, and go home and repeat the process. Find your passion. Stick to it. Stay focused on it because I am. All right? GK out. Peace, y'all.